Six years ago, I posted this video about Ali Dawa. Will you shake my hand? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you won't shake my hand. Even basic cultural greeting standards within the West are not permissible within Islam, which at the very least indicates there's some level of discussion to be had about the compatibility of this religion and European culture, certainly as more and more Muslims come into Europe and become a larger voting bloc. And to be frank, at the time, I was doing a series of videos all over London and Europe about imported sexism, intolerance, anti-Western values that was really concerning and I thought felt would accumulate to something worse over time if it wasn't talked about. So I made a bunch of videos like this one. I'm going to be asking the most difficult would you rather question out there. Would you rather have women's rights or Islam? Let's see how they react. Women's rights or Islam? I'm not Is that your choice? Is that a real question? Why is that yeah, even a question? Yeah. Why are you at this rally ask that question? Provoking like an argument which there's no point. Why can't we just band together about feminism instead of you coming along here and starting a religious debate? Because Why some people, wrong? some people believe you should be stoned for the crime of being raped. And if you are protesting rape, you should be protesting the people that want to hurt you for being raped as Why? well. Why are you just letting this go past? Why are you doing this? Why in particular did you use Islam? Because there is a big problem with how women are treated under Islam. Right. So you didn't first ask her whether or not she identifies as a Muslim? No, I'm asking feminists. Why are you not asking Muslim women about this? Why are you asking? Well, you don't see a whole lot here, do you? Their husbands probably didn't let them come. Oh my God. Did you just hear what she said to me? A lot more violence in the Bible, and believe me, I grew up Catholic. That's why you see Christians running people over in the streets of London. Oh my fuck. And this one? All right, so I'm here in Molenbeek with Sofiane, and you said you've been here three months now. Would you like to see uh, Molenbeek in, under Sharia law? Would you like to see Sharia law in Molenbeek? Why no? Yeah, yeah. Probably the majority of people in Molenbeek support Sharia law. I'd support no homosexuals in Molenbeek. And in fact, I support Sharia law, which says women should cover their faces. There should be uh, execution of gays. So interesting, interesting. And that one? So I'm headed to an area called Lakemba in Sydney, Australia. Let's see what we find out in Lakemba. Men started yelling in Arabic across the street at us. I, why would I cause a breach of the peace? Because it's highly religious down there. And would it be me causing a breach of the peace or would it be the people there? Well, your, tent, your presence may cause them to be, you know, be, a, be offensive and be objective to your attending there. As far as I'm concerned, they have Sharia law here. I was told if I talk to people, even if I put all my cameras away, I can't criticize Islam to people here on a public street in Australia, in Sydney. And that one! <laughs> what is happening in the world? Why is Islam protected uh, and yet criticism of Islam is regarded as somehow dangerous? Because we fear Islam. They're still a minority in Western countries. And while all these people will tout open borders, multiculturalism, as soon as Islamists become over 50% of your population, you will see your country looking exactly like any Islamic nation in the world. And suddenly the LGBT activists won't be as happy, happy. about this open borders situation. <laughs> suddenly the liberal women that are being stoned for the crime of rape will start to realize what they've gotten themselves into. And I fear that it may have to get to these horrific points before people wake up and open their eyes. And they got millions of views, raising awareness about rising intolerance in London. So what did the left do? They banned me from the country for racism. <laughs> and uh, what's happening in the UK since? Well, all of the commentators called me a racist, homophobe, all these names at the time. And now they're all making videos like this. Never before have I felt as unsafe as I do now. When I walk down the street, I'm increasingly being leered at. I'm increasingly having tss, tss. I'm increasingly being followed, like I'm going around the souks of Morocco. And it's not visibly to me anyway, people who were born and bred here. A lot of women going about their daily business feel that their safety is being directly threatened by people who are coming from different cultures. And this needs to be discussed because I've had enough. How strange. That's so, that's so bizarre. I mean, that could be a Lauren Southern video. Is she going to go to jail for this? That's very naughty. 
<laughs> very naughty. <laughs> if only someone had warned them about this, like if only, it's just such a shame that there was no one talking about this, no one making videos about this, trying to tell them. Now, let's go back to Ali Dawa, who just recently posted a video in which his wife can only communicate with his audience via whiteboard, because of course, women can't speak in Islam, duh. She's not gonna be in the video, but she's going to have her say um, with this whiteboard that I bought her. So, okay, she's saying, she made the video, not him. I don't know his opinion. Well, exactly, there you go, okay. There's nothing else I have to say. Anything you'd like to say? If you do, just let me know, inshallah. And the left progressives are shocked, appalled that this man had the audacity to espouse these misogynistic views and acts. If only someone had warned them. So we've imported the sexism I warned about. Excellent job, Britain. Twice the rate of Canada. Very impressive. Um, very good. You got rape all over the place. You got women wearing garbage bags. Nice. This sort of hypocritical nonsense behavior is to be expected from the left, to be expected from progressives. Honestly, come on. But the right, these were the ones that shocked me because now they, they seem to really want their own turn at diversity. They want to get in on the fun. Uh, they've just been fully adopting caveman, ooga booga, bonk women on the head ideology the last bit. Like we're talking grug, low IQ. <laughs> <laughs> but the strangest thing is you literally have tweets like this from big right-wing accounts cat turd where you have a woman saying hey the current market that we're living in the nine to five i don't think it's really you know designed for happiness or fulfillment why is it that i have to work 40 hours a week just so i can have a place to live I don't know what to do about it anymore. You know, I'm so tired. Cat turd just says, make me a sandwich in response to her. This is the high IQ right wing we're promoting right now. <laughs> we're supposed to be better than this. When I was growing up, right wing ideals used to be pretty simple. Family, faith, church, chivalry, respect, community. Uh, we used to lambast societies where women couldn't vote or get educated, and now these influencers see that shit and think, yes, perfect, burqas for everyone, multiple wives, all of them illiterate. I don't want to be able to have a conversation with a single woman. Love it. And the reason our society is better and why myself and so many others defended the West back in the day is because everyone was educated, men and women. Women literally educate our children. We get dumber men when women aren't educated. And this is the reason everyone wants to come to our society because it is more intelligent, more literate. People are more capable of engaging and building community. Women and men who are higher educated, way less likely to divorce, way less likely. And that family unit, so integral. And yet we want to go back in time instead, go back to the stone age, to the values of the people who are literally escaping those countries to come here because it's created such shit cultures. And listen, I get it. Feminists back in 2015, 2016, bad shit gone they were doing stuff like this how does it feel to be the same sex as donald do you ever get tired of trying to be manly all the time i love the mansplaining i'm enjoying it you're loving what the mansplaining that's going on there i was thinking it was just me that had a problem but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist i know um so many women in our office have the exact same problem. Man spreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. I was on the forefront of criticizing that absurdity, and it was absurdity. But really, in response to this, <laughs> Do you have to go and become barbarians? Listen, the left imported all of this. I don't want to hear a peep, a bow peep from them about <coughs> the sexism of young British boys. They did this. And now you've got all of these new influencers on the right that say I've changed. I've become some sort of feminazi now that I shouldn't be critiquing any of this, uh, that I shouldn't even be online at all, commenting on politics whatsoever. Let me tell you right now, I have not changed on this subject one bit, not one bit. But what has changed is there has been an influx of new demographics within tolerant ideologies who right-wing influencers are trying to appeal to. Because 
There's just as much money in mass migration to be made from the left as there is in the right. And they want to make sure that money's making its way around to everyone, including themselves. So to make this clear, millions more people with different ideologies come into our countries and that becomes millions more people to make money off of. On super chats, on events, everything. Who cares about morals? Who cares what right wing actually thought 10, 15 years ago? There is money to be made. You're gonna have sex with any guy they want. To. You're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. Women simply just don't care. Care too much about the bitch. This is the perfect example that you can be dumb as a girl and make it through like. What? Fall. No. What'd you say? Fuck the woman. Fuck the woman. If your dad cheated on your mom, how would you feel? I bought him. I'm like, fuck yeah, you got your money on that. I think if you're in a serious relationship with a girl, she should not have an Instagram. That's cheating. Men don't really need a woman. You can't divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically it, abusive. You gotta endure. I recently decided that women shouldn't vote. Oh, I might like family more than you. So much I have five. I'm doing this for money. It's all about money to me. Now listen, this will be my last point on this subject. I get it. The left imported the entire planet. They fucked everything up. But that doesn't mean the right has to F everything up too. That doesn't mean they have to become lowest common denominator intelligence of our population at the moment. And here's what you can do if you're watching this right now. Go outside, treat people with respect and good values. You see an old lady crossing the street that needs help, go and help her. You see a girl at 18 trying to join OnlyFans, don't give her a podcast mic and start mocking her. Invite her to your church barbecue. Cultivate family. Speak truth. Value education. Act in general, decent and good ways. And stop watching this trash. <laughs>